Data set arrays are data containers that let you store heterogeneous data in a single object, reference information using named columns, and analyze information using methods specific to the data set array. Together, these capabilities make data analysis faster and easier. Traditionally, MATLAB provided two different types of data containers. Arrays of numbers are the most basic MATLAB data type. MATLAB provides a wide variety of functions that operate on numeric arrays. Numeric arrays are also very efficient in memory. Unfortunately, numeric arrays are limited in the type of information that they hold. They can't store text or a mixture of data types. MATLAB also supports cell arrays and structures. Cell arrays and structures are extremely flexible. You can define a custom structure to store whatever you want. However, the flexibility of a custom structure or cell array is also a limitation. MATLAB functions can't always parse a custom structure. Dataset arrays provide the best of both worlds. Dataset arrays can store mixed data types, a large number of MATLAB functions work with dataset arrays, and dataset arrays are memory efficient and fast. Let's move back into MATLAB and see dataset arrays in action. Cars.xls is an Excel file that contains information about different car models. As you can see, the Excel file contains a mixture of cell strings, such as the model name, mixed in with numeric information, such as the city and highway mileage, and categorical data, such as the country of origin and the type of transmission. We'll start by loading the Excel file into a dataset array. The entire contents of the Excel spreadsheet, including both cell strings and numeric data, are captured in a single object. The column headers from the spreadsheet are now variable names within the dataset array. As a first step, let's decrease the memory footprint by converting some of our variables from cell strings to nominal arrays. When I first import my data, the memory footprint is about 500k. After this conversion, the memory footprint shrinks by about two-thirds. Now, let's use our dataset array to crunch some data. One of the variables in our dataset array is the class of the car. Class tells us whether the car is a compact or an SUV or a station wagon. Suppose that we want to determine whether there is any relationship between the class of the car and the mileage. The group stats command will automatically separate our data based on the class of the car and then calculate average highway mileage for each subset along with upper and lower confidence bounds. Using two more lines of code, we can store the results in a new data set, sort the information by highway mileage, and then display our results. Group stats and sort rows are both methods that operate on the dataset array object. The MathWorks provides methods to automate common analysis tasks that you would otherwise need to code for yourself. You can get a complete list of the methods that the dataset array supports by typing methods of dataset. There are supported methods to export a dataset array to a text file or an Excel spreadsheet, calculate summary statistics, or stack unstack your data. Join and dataset fun are two methods that you definitely want to be aware of. The dataset array join method is a way to combine variables from two different dataset arrays using values that are shared across both arrays. The join method simplifies a number of complicated data analysis tasks. Joins are particularly useful to solve multi-write sampling problems. I'm going to start by using a join to merge two dataset arrays. The join operator will automatically search through both dataset arrays and identify a variable that is shared across both datasets. In this example, time is the shared variable. Next, the two dataset arrays are automatically merged into one using time as the key. Finally, interpolation is used to replace missing data. Dataset fun allows you to apply a MATLAB function to a variable that is stored in a dataset array. For example, the z-score function in statistics toolbox is used to center and scale a data series. The MathWorks didn't write a specialized z-score method for the dataset array. Instead, you can use the dataset fun method to apply the existing z-score function to the elevator variable. If you want more information about dataset arrays, 
the Statistics Toolbox homepage on the MathWorks website has a lot of very useful information. You can access a complete set of product documentation, including a description of all of the dataset array methods. You might also want to look at a recorded webinar titled An Introduction to Dataset Arrays. This webinar has a great applied example and you can download all of the example code as well as the datasets used in the analysis. Thank you.